just finished testing the Harris Solstice 250. It's economically powered with a Verado 200 horsepower engine. Now that's the four cylinder and it gave us really good performance. We were on plane in 3.1 seconds to 30 miles an hour in 7.8 seconds with a top speed of 40.2 miles an hour. Now this is a triple tube pontoon, triple 30, 25 inch tubes and it's really rough today on Lake Wallacey in northern Indiana but glides right over the top of it, beautifully handling boat. Well, Jane, I was really surprised when I hopped on this. I just assumed this is one of the high-end luxury models, and uh, I guess it's not really. Well, I mean, on any Harris, we pay a lot of attention to fit and finish. But yes, you are sitting on kind of our mid-level uh, Solstice model with two models above it still in the Harris lineup. Wow, that's amazing. Now, what do we have here? This is the Solstice DC 250. So this is a boat designed for a nice windy day like today <laughs> with a high profile windshield to give you some protection as you head out on the water. So this is a new model for 2016 then, right? Yeah, we actually launched it uh, a little late into 2015. Mm -hmm. So shortly after the boat show season, we launched this new model. Nice. Now what do we have in the stern here? What we've got here is a nice ski tow bar. So not only does this boat you know, equipped with the three tubes and the performance package, but it's all ready to go for any types of water sports you want to do. Yeah, I like that splash of stainless steel that really looks cool. You know, rear recliners are still hot, and I, I see a lot of people uh, take a great concept like rear reclining, kind of mess it up, but I love how the seat backs here are nice and flat, and you really did a great job of integrating that seat, uh, armrest too. Well, thank you. The idea here was that people could, as we are, lounge facing backwards or also sit facing each other. So if you need to bring more people on board, right. it's not a problem. Uh, Jane, I love the look of this helm. What do we have going on? Well, this is the standard Solstice helm, but obviously on the DC model, what we've done is you've added a dual helm and then this complete wraparound windshield. So this really gives the passenger, you can see the same stereo functions, control over that the driver has, and really gives you an enclosed cockpit feel. Man, it came in handy this morning, it was cold. Yeah, on a day like today where it's really windy, you appreciate being able to enclose this in. And this is a nice feature on a pontoon boat because you still have the open ability to have a lot of conversation, but you do have some shelter from the elements. You know, it gives it a great look too. It gives it that sport boat look, it's kind of neat. Well, if you like reclining like in the stern, the bow riders uh, are all hooked up too. This is beautiful. Exactly. So again, you can lounge, enjoy the view facing forward, or you can have a whole lot of people and sit facing each other. There's even a room for putting a table here so you can have meals out on the water. Nice.